Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to use disk management to view and manage your drives on your computer. Uh, so what disk management does is it shows you all the physical drives on your computer and shows you information like their size, how they're formatted, their drive letter, and that kind of thing. So to get to disk management, if you have like a Windows 7 type start menu, even though this is Windows 10, you could right click on this PC or computer or my computer depending on what it's called on your version of Windows and go to manage or you could just simply in the search box here type in disk management and it's called well it'll be listed under create and format hard disk partitions but even after you open it it's called disk management so once you're here you'll see all your disks numbered starting from zero so here we got disk zero which is our C drive for Windows and it's 118 gigabytes formatted NTFS and it's got the boot partition, the page file on there, dump, crash dump, and it's a primary partition. And then we have this little recovery partition that Windows makes when you install it. And then here we have a data drive which is a terabyte even though it says, you know, 921 gigabytes, so it's a terabyte basically. So it's a primary partition, it's NTFS. And then we have the recovery partition that came with this computer, you know, so if you need to recover your computer, that's where all the installation files are stored. And so we have here a removable disk, uh, 4 gigabytes formatted FAT32 primary partition. And then we have our CD-ROM. So now I'm going to stick another flash drive in. Oh. Then it pops up, open Windows Explorer, and then we can see we have a SAN disk as drive S about 30 gigs and healthy active primary partition. So all the things you could do here, if you right click, you could delete the volume which will wipe it out. You could go to the properties of the volume and if we wanted to rename the volume we could do that. And there's also the tools like uh, defrag and check disk. You want hard drive information. If you want to check the sharing and all the security and all that other good stuff just like you could do from Windows Explorer you could do that here and if you want also want to well you can't eject it if it was a CD-ROM you could change drive letters and path you would click on change and do the drop down it would show you what available drive letters you have to choose from just keep in mind if there are programs installed on this you're gonna mess them up because it's gonna not have the right drive letter associated with them so they won't run anymore so don't do that for your C drive, for sure, or any other drives that you have Windows programs installed on. And so let's say we were going to add another disk. Let's say let's go up to here. Let's go here and add a, a virtual hard disk. Uh, let's just stick it under, I think I have a folder here for virtual disks. And let's just call this test and we'll just make it 20 megabytes for now and just standard VHD and so it'll go through the process there and okay so you can now when you add a new disk let's say we plugged this is a virtual disk but if you plugged in a new physical hard drive it would show up like this uh, with the size and unallocated and not initialized so you'd want to right click on it to initialize it so Windows will recognize it and so you could actually do something with it and it's going to say it's disk 4 that matches that and then to pick what kind of partition style you want to stick with GPT because that's the newer style MBR is kind of going about the wayside there and click OK okay well in our case we can't do it because it's too small but let's try that again as an MBR disk okay so now it's initialized and it's just a blank empty it's actually it's not even a volume so you'd want to right click a new simple volume. Click next. Pick how, how big you want it to be. We're going to stick with the maximum. Give it a drive letter. Let's say let's make this Z and call this temp and do a quick format because it's a new drive there and finish formatting. Opens it up. There's nothing in it of course and so now that's another drive that we have listed under disk management to manage. So as you can see you know it's pretty easy to kind of maneuver your way around here and see what's going on with your computer and add and remove drives and rename them or change drive letters and that kind of thing. So that's pretty much what you could do with this management. So, you know, give it a shot on your computer and just start 
playing around, but just make sure you don't change anything you're not supposed to, and you'll be okay. Thanks for watching.